There you go. Let's talk about WCC F Tech again. Intel Arc Alchemist A770 desktop gaming graphics card with 512 EUs and 2.4 GHz GPU clock speed spotted. Intel's Arc Alchemist A770 desktop graphics cards has made a surprise appearance within Geekbench OpenCL benchmark once again. This isn't the first time that the Intel's flagship Arc Alchemist configuration has been benchmarked with the Geekbench OpenCL benchmark, but it is definitely the first time that it's been listed in its proper naming. The Intel Arc A770 graphics card is going to be a high-end gaming graphics card featuring the full ACM G10 GPU, the flagship of the two Arc Alchemist GPUs. You can see here that the OpenCL score is going to be 85,585. You can get more information here. It was running with a 9600K, funny enough, and it shows the base frequency and max frequency, meaning essentially you could expect better performance out of a 12900K, especially, or a 12700K uh, even. And then, of course, the 12900KS, which is by far the fastest gaming CPU out right now, but... The Intel Arc 7 lineup is going to utilize the flagship ACM G10 GPU, and we already know about the mobility variants, which include the Arc A770M and the Arc A730M. Similarly, the Arc A770 is one of the top-end variants for desktop PCs that is equipped with the full ACM G10 configuration, utilizing 32 XE cores and 4096 ALUs and 32 ray tracing units. Now, Geekbench doesn't list down the exact VRAM configuration and states 12.7 gigabytes, which is an incorrect reading, so it's most likely 16 gigabytes of GDDR6. Also, it was previously stated that the flagship graphics card is meant to be the Arc A780, so this could be a clock-optimized GPU variant with the A7, A780 launching as the limited edition model teased during the Arc A series launch event. Now, you guys can see here some of the scores for the Intel Arc Alchemist um, performance. And it should be right here. Yeah, so 85,000 here beating out the RTX 2070 just by a little bit. And of course the 2060 Super. But falling short of the 6700 XT, falling short of the 2080, 3070, and 3070 Ti. So even at the top end, it's not looking super promising. However, where it does look promising is like in comparison. So for miners, I wanted to put your mining hat on here, okay? The 6700 XT, right, is just a 192-bit bus. While, you know, the basically the uh, 3070 Ti here that they have listed is the 256-bit bus. Now that's GDDR6X. So we're getting somewhere in between there for performance because we're going to have GDDR6 with a 256-bit bus. And due to the performance being under the 6700 XT, what I'm hoping is that we see around 2060 to 2070 pricing, uh, but with the mining performance of, you know, a 3070 Ti, or not really a 3070 Ti, probably more around like a 3060 Ti, somewhere around there, fully unlocked. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. The launch is supposed to be Q2 of this year. We'll just have to see where we go from there. It's actually for miners, in my humble opinion, better news that it is not performing as well as the 6700 XT, etc. Because of that big bus width, it can mean that we have a huge memory bus on a cheaper GPU, right? We could see these price points falling in under around the same price as you would expect something like a 6600 to a 6600 XT, maybe around that three to $400 range, but with the mining performance above that, closer to maybe an RX 6800, something along those lines. If we got a 60 mega hash a second GPU for the $400 range, it would be absolutely insane. And that's what I'm really hoping ends up happening here. So it's kind of good news that from the gaming perspective, from these OpenCL benchmarks, we're getting less performance than some of the higher end GPUs that do run these big memory bus buses. And, and we'll have a cheaper, basically a cheaper GPU 
with a big memory bus and that's what miners want. That's what we want at the end of the day. So it's exciting. As for the performance, the Intel Arc A770 scored 85,585 points in the OpenCL graphics benchmark, which is very low for such a high-end graphics card. But that is to be expected since the graphics drivers aren't yet optimized for the high-end parts, and that's a fair point. Even the entry-level ACM G11 GPUs are yet to be properly optimized through drivers, so we can expect the performance to be improved in the coming months. Currently, the card is on par with the GeForce RTX 2070, and we can expect it to end up close to the RTX 3070 and 6700 XT by the time it launches by the end of the second quarter of 2022. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.